Look at that happy pig. Look at that. Woohoo! What's up, modern steaders? Let's go let the pigs out of their pen and get them in the pasture and see what happens. Look, we got some ducklings. They're escaped. Let's see if we can catch them. They're doing all very well with the chickens and everybody. Look at that. They're hiding under the pallet. That's cute. Hey, Mr. Biggs. I got the ducklings. Let's make sure that fence is plugged in. Yep. Let's go let the pigs out. They want out. Look. You guys want to try coming out in the pasture for the first time? Oh, then you'll walk through. Now they just got to learn to get out of the way of the gate. Let's see what they do. Hopefully they don't try to touch the fence. What are you doing, Mrs. Pigs? What? 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 They're not quite sure what to think yet. Oh, she found the spot with this fermented grass. Look at her rooting that up. That's from New York City. Is anything good in there, Mrs. Pigs? What did New York City leave you? Oh, she's going to town, guys. She's found something good. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a good pig. Look at that. Boom. That's awesome. They're working that area. Look, there's some leftover grain right there. Now she wants it because I pointed it out to the modern stutter. But go. Oh. You silly. Spots hit the fence and you're going to go running. But see, look, spots hit the fence. And look where spots went right to the pen. So that's why we put them in the pen for two days first. We want them to learn that's their safe spot. So if anything happens, to run back to the pen for safety. And it worked, guys. High five. Boop. Thank you. You okay, Spots? You okay? Come here. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Come here. You just got to stay away from the fence. Yes. It's okay. Yes, Spots, it's okay. Yes. You know who's gonna have fun when they get home with this? Miss Levy's is gonna have fun with the piggies. So I wanna make a little latch to hook the gate to the cattle panel. So when the pigs are out, we don't have to worry about that gate closing on them and not being able to get to their water. What are you doing, Mrs. Pigs? You see the fence, don't touch it. You'll be running back like spots. Look at that happy pig. Look at that. Woohoo! Here she comes. Now tell me that's just not one awesome life. If I was a pig, I'd want to live this way too. What are you doing, Mrs. Pigs? Don't touch that fence. That scared me, I jumped. Is she going right back to the pen? Look, she's going home. She's close to it, she didn't go up. Yep, she's going in the pen. 
Look at all these apples they're gonna be able to find out here and eat. They're just all over the place. Stepping on two right there. All right, I just need a small piece of wire so we can secure their gate open when they're out so we don't have to worry about them not being able to get back in there and getting water. These pigs are just so happy out here being pigs, doing what they were created to do. They got a plow in their nose to dig in the dirt like this. Look at that. She is in hog heaven. They're getting all the bugs and the minerals out of the ground that we can't get, but they're going to put it in their meat and then we're going to have it in our diet. We need minerals and all them vitamins and good stuff, so they're going to get the ones we can't and then we'll get it in return from them. Thank you. It's just a huge continuous cycle here. I love it. And why would you not want your pigs out on pasture? Why would you want to eat a confinement pig? They're not happy. They don't get to do this kind of stuff. I just gotta make a wire loop. Let's try to do this one-handed so it'll catch this on the fence. Let me do it and I'll show you. That's it, just tied it up there, made a loop. We can just put it on and off. Boom, now their gate will stay open. And we don't need this stick. I could just sit out here all day and watch them. They're just having so much fun. That's the kind of stuff they're looking for. They missed one, a little grub. You missed one there, Spots. Did you find anything good, Mrs. Pigs? Look, now when we find the apples on the ground that have fallen off, we can just pick them up. Put them in a five gallon bucket if we have them. But watch. Hey piggies, I got something for you. Whether they eat them right now or later, they'll get them. One of the best things about cooking real food in batches is, like tonight, Gina cooked tonight's dinner Saturday. And all I gotta do is reheat it. It's called poor man's stew, but you know what? We're gonna change the name of it from poor man's stew to modern stetter stew. The reason why it's called poor man is because you use hamburger. But guess what? We love it. And the reason why we make it is because if you buy half a cow or you do a pig, you get a lot of hamburger or ground meat. So guess what? You can make a lot of modern stetter stew. I don't know the recipe. It's really good. It kind of tastes like dentine more beef stew. So if you're switching from like processed foods, start cooking this one and you get the same taste, you'll never know the difference. Let's get it and get cooking it. Oh man, which leftover bowl is it in? Oh, I saw it in here this morning. Hmm. Oh, it's way back here. Here it be. Gina found this recipe last winter, and this is our favorite recipe. This is all we have for stew now, other than chicken stew, which is a little different. We'll let that warm up for a little bit, and then we can have dinner when they get home. You're doing a good job. Want 
time for us to flavor our kombucha. We're going to be using organic, unconcentrated blueberry juice. So we're going to be putting three ounces of blueberry juice into every jar. The jars we are using are just from the local, locally made kombucha here sold in town. So three ounces is right around a third of a cup. So that's what we're using. Smells like blueberries. Next one. Look at that fancy stainless steel spigot working. Looks nice and purple. That more? Yep. It's already fizzing. Woo woo! You're making me have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> if you guys need a SCOBY, go on over to Doug and Stacy's channel and leave them a message and you guys can get them from them. That's where we got ours from. I'll leave a link to Off Gear with Doug and Stacy's channel down in the description below. Look at how big that SCOBY is. Thing's a monster. Shoof. What ends up getting as big as your car? Put the ten bottles of blueberry kombucha in a box with a lid on it. I'm gonna keep it in the pantry, and it takes between three and ten days for the final fermentation process. Can't wait to try that. Woohoo! What do you want to go see first, the pigs or the ducks? Pigs. pigs. Look at how much they've already dug up. Oh, they're out, out? Yeah, they're out, out. They dug up all that already? They dug up all that already, isn't that crazy? And, and you just let them out. Yeah, and you know what that area is? That's where I dumped all the grass that I mowed and raked up. So it's kind of sitting over here, just fermenting and growing bugs. They're eating the apples falling from the tree. Oh, I need to go to Just watch out, don't get too close. Is it on? Oh, I think you. Look at them. One of them's already got something hanging out of its mouth. They all go around and eat the grass That's and they crazy. eat bugs already. It's awesome watching them. How do they know that? It's so funny. Yep. It's amazing. It is amazing. Oh, look how cute you are. Oh, they're so little. I don't remember them being that little when we got them. No, they weren't that little when we got the other ones last year. What are you in your mouth? Dirt. You look at them all. They're all staying together. I'm going to get of the other side. Yeah. Oh, they come out the fence. Oh, they go out the fence. Oh, no. Don't go in the pig pen. <laughs> Daddy, the chickens are following you too.
That was pretty cool. Daddy, the chickens followed you too. That was their first time out and they went right back in? They saw the stainless steel bowl and you know what that means? Food scraps! The Super time! Get it, so that's why they follow us when we come out. They're saying, he's got food, he's got food! You know, even if we don't have food, they're gonna have a zap. Yep. Thanks guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Love the Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. Yeah.